Today, we're going to be discussing the sexiest topic on YouTube, tripods. Damn, you're going to get us demonetized. <laughs> Hopefully not. We're comparing three interesting new tripod systems on the market at three different price points. The Sure SVT75, the YC Onion Pinter, and the Small Rig Free Blazer. Our goal here is to help you figure out which tripod is right for you. The reason that we've chosen these three tripods is that they're all 75 mm ball heads with a similar single latch quick release system for the legs. This makes adjusting the height on all of them as a solo operator simple, quick, and easy. Before we move forward, you should know that the YC Onion and the Small Rig each have a cheaper aluminum version, but we're going to be looking at the carbon fiber versions today to showcase the best of what each brand has to offer. To start with, let's briefly look at each tripod individually. First off, the Sure. This is the most expensive of the bunch, and handling it rarely shows why. The build is super solid with minimal to no wiggle. It has an extremely robust feel, and overall it's a very professional feeling video head with the ability to counterbalance the weight and adjust the resistance for both pan and tilt. It also has a locking quick release system. The legs can reach a respectable but not mind-blowing height of 153 centimeters and lower to 21 centimeters with the leg spread, keeping in mind that your camera will sit a little bit higher on the video head. You'll also find threaded holes on the legs for mounting accessories like the included handle, one of which has ARRI locating holes. It weighs a hefty 8 kilograms, and the legs have a payload capacity of 25 kilograms, while it's 15 kilograms for the head. All around, this is a very impressive system. Moving on to the YC Onion. This is the mid-tier tripod in terms of price. It's much more lightweight than the Sure at 3.5 kilograms. Unlike the Sure, this is their third generation of the product, and they've moved away from a rubber-based tension system, making this fully mechanical. It could possibly last longer and be less prone to wear and tear as a result. It also has a really nifty quick release system for the tension ball to make balancing your camera quicker. They call it the coconut ball system, and we quite like it. It makes the area underneath the ball super minimal and has a nice feeling. Like the Sure, it has three accessory mounting holes that can be used for the included handle or to mount arms for monitors, transmitters, etc. Unlike the Sure, all three of them have ARRI locating pins, which is great because it makes using them a lot more secure. It also has locking buttons that secure in place when folded in, making transportation more secure. By feel alone, it's not the most stable tripod we've ever used, but it's by no means bad. It is, however, the least stable of the three that we're testing here today, which is a little bit disappointing. We will mention that using the mid-level spreader accessory does help a lot to improve this, but we'll talk more about this later. Out of the bag, these legs can be adjusted from 155cm tall to 68cm short, or even lower to 16cm with the legs spread but it also has a trick up its sleeve. If you're using the central column accessory with it, you can mount your camera upside down underneath to get the camera even lower or get it even taller at 185 centimeters. With the caveat, that this will reduce the payload of the legs to eight kilograms. Speaking of, according to YC Onion, these legs have a capacity of 35 kilograms. We don't believe them. We're not sure. And the video head, 10 kilograms. Something kind of cool is that the tripod also comes with three feet options, all included in the kit. Firstly, standard rubber rounded feet. Secondly, larger flatter surfaced rubber feet that swivel on uneven ground for more stability. And lastly, spikes for outdoor use. YC wanted us to mention that they are planning on bringing out a pro level video head and a ground spreader in early 2024, which will help give this system more video centric appeal. Next, let's talk about the Small Rig Free Blazer. Such a weird name. It is. This is by far the cheapest out of the bunch, and it does feel that way overall. But despite that, if you fully extend the mid-level spreader to its widest, we think it's a bit more stable than the YC Onion. It weighs about five kilograms overall, and the body of this tripod is made of a mix of carbon fiber, and the handles are a thick, strong plastic. That's right, I said plastic. We assume that they did this to keep the costs down, but it's a weird decision that we can't get behind. Because the latches are going to have the most wear and tear on your tripod, making them the weakest material on it just doesn't quite make sense to us. How about I just build my car brakes out of Lego or something? In this economy, it is cheaper. Anyways, the latch system is a much different design than the other two tripods, but it does seem to work just as well, with the one caveat that when fully extended, the latches are halfway down the leg. The legs can be adjusted to an impressive 197 centimeters tall, but only 97 centimeters on the lower end. 
This is because the legs cannot be sprayed wider than this because the mid-level sprayer is permanently attached. This is a shame, but it does make the whole system feel pretty damn stable. The legs are rated for a payload of 25 kilograms and the head 10 kilograms. Something else that's worth mentioning is that the small rigs seem to share the same video head as the YC Onion. I assume that neither company makes this and they come from a third party company. It is fairly basic, but they do seem to work well and they both have the ability to use Manfrotto or DJI plates via a switch system, which is a nice little feature. Okay, we've talked about each of these tripods features and specs. Now let's talk about the drawbacks we noticed and our overall thoughts on each. The first thing to mention is that the Sure is supposed to work with Manfrotto plates, just like the other brands, but it's not the case. Sure plates work on Manfrotto tripods, but not vice versa. Whereas because the YC Onion and the small rig have that switch system, they will work with either. Another thing that we find a little bit weird is that only one of the accessory mounting holes on the Sure has locating pins. This, of course, is the one that you have to use with the carry handle. So it leaves the other two much less useful in our opinions. A common issue on both the Sure and the YC Onion is the middle level spreader accessory. The build quality might be a little bit better on the YC Onion model, but neither of them is good. They are a little bit annoying to take off and put on and make folding the tripods for travel a little bit awkward and cumbersome. And in general, they feel a bit like afterthoughts. Luckily with the Sure, we don't really feel like you need it for stability as much as with the YC Onion, which is a lot less stable overall. And we personally wouldn't recommend using bigger cameras on this tripod without the spreader. Another issue that we had for the YC Onion is the mounting for the center column accessory. It's a little bit hard to show on camera, but the latch barely tightens onto the unit to the point where we assumed we were tightening it incorrectly because it looked too dangerous. We wouldn't rely on it to hold onto itself, let alone a camera attached to it. The good news is that you don't have to use it, but we don't recommend buying this tripod if you're looking for that feature specifically. We can't recommend using the center column at all in this state. We also dislike the design of the feet on both the small rig and the Sure. The feet tend to flop around a little bit and we constantly find ourselves having to bend over and fix them because they flopped into an awkward position, making the tripod not as stable. And this kind of kills the convenience of having these quick release tripod legs if you have to keep going down to fiddle with the feet. On top of this, while you can remove the feet from each to reveal spikes for outdoor use, both tripods do have pretty small spikes, making them not very useful without additional weights. Wrapping up, all three of these tripods do have a use case and fits particular situations over one or the other. For us, the clear winner in terms of build quality and features and performance is the Sure. But it's not perfect given the weight and limited height, so it may not suit a lot of people. The YC Onion has a better latch design system, so it will probably last longer. And being lighter weight, it may mean it's the tripod to bring with you if you're going to be moving around on your feet all day. But we don't think it's stable enough to use on bigger productions when the tripod has to do more than just keep a camera pointed on one position. The small rig free blazer is probably the biggest surprise here. It's the cheapest of the bunch, but when it's fully set up, it's pretty decent. And we would absolutely recommend it to use either as your first tripod or one to use for a B camera. With all of that said, only you know which one's gonna be best for you. We always recommend getting the best you can buy, buy once, buy right as they say. But sometimes it's not about what's best, it's about what you can afford right now. And in situations like that, we tend to recommend getting something cheaper and then saving up for the more expensive one later. We've put a link down in the description to where you can find all three of these tripods online, some with a small discount. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, you can follow us via the social links and we'll see you next time.